Hello everyone and welcome to this brief tutorial on how you can set goals using the RPM method. So what we're going to do first is we're actually going to open up a program that I use. It's called Evernote. And when we open up this program, it takes you to a screen that looks like this. Now, if you're not familiar with how to use Evernote, once you download it, you can do something over here. You can create different folders. Uh, for your notes, you can star your notes, you can look at all your notes, or you can just press the simple button here that says blank note. And when you open that up, it brings you into a, a blank screen that kind of looks just like this. But today we're going to be going over the RPM method. And the reason I want to go over this with you is because the RPM method serves a great purpose in helping you get to your goals faster by helping you map out a plan. So what does RPM stand for? It stands for Result, Purpose, and Method. And the RPM method, I actually learned this from Tony Robbins, and it's something that he uses and teaches in all of his programs as well. I just wanna share it with you because I really think it will add value. So when we get started with the RPM, first thing you wanna do is look at what is the result that you're striving to achieve. So are you looking to lose weight? Are you looking to increase your income? What is that goal that you're trying to achieve? What is the specific result that you're looking for here? The second thing you want to look at is what is the reason that you want to achieve it? So that's the purpose. So this is getting more into why you want to achieve that goal. This is looking into the reasoning behind why you want to achieve it. What, is, what emotion are you trying to feel when you achieve that goal? And lastly, you want to look at what action steps are you going to take to achieve your result. So that's the method. So we have the R, P, and the M, the result, purpose, and the method. Now I'm going to show you an example of one of mine that I just quickly whipped up before this video. So we have the result. The result I want is to weigh 170 pounds by June 1st, 2021, and enjoy the process of getting in shape. I always like to add enjoying the process so it subconsciously triggers my brain to say that I am enjoying the process of changing my body and I'm enjoying the process of going after this result. So next you can see here I have the purpose. So why do I want to achieve this result of one weighing 170 pounds by June 1st? So I want to look and feel better. I mean who doesn't want to look and feel better, right? The second thing is I want to live a healthier lifestyle. You know now that I'm a dad I really want to make sure I'm around long enough to see, you know, grandchildren if, I, if you know, my daughter decides to have kids. And I really want to just be that kind of person who can be healthy, look healthy, feel healthy, and have more energy. You know, so many people I used to see walking around just looking like zombies because they're so low on energy from not eating healthy and not living a healthy lifestyle. And that's really a big driver for me. I want to live healthy, be healthy, feel healthy, and just make sure that I'm healthy enough for Maddie, my daughter, to see your dad as someone who can play with her all the time. Now, what are some action steps? So now we've got the result, the purpose, and now here, this is the action and method. So I'm currently going through a beach body program called Lift 4. I just recently started that and it's for daily strength training. So I can put in 20 minutes to 40 minutes of exercise each day. I also love to be outside. So a five kilometer walk per day, or I occasionally go jogging maybe two, three times a week for at least 20 minutes. I've reduced my sugar intake by 50%. So that means cutting out chocolate, cutting out candy, cutting out sugar in my coffee and tea. Um, and that actually leads into the next one. Drink at least three cups of co or tea per day. I don't drink coffee anymore. I've switched completely over to tea. And drink at least two liters of water per day. I know that sounds like a lot, but if you can get a giant jug and just say, okay, I just have to drink this much per day, or even set a reminder on your phone to just drink a little bit of water, you'll notice it's not actually as much as you think it is. Another thing is to increase my protein intake through supplements and food. So I do take a protein powder every day, uh, sometimes twice a day. Uh, since I'm building my muscles, I want to have enough protein to supply those muscles with fuel. Uh, and have more vegetables cover at least half my plate. So vegetables are a huge thing, especially for living a healthy lifestyle. We should all know that by now. 
and also reducing my calorie intake to kind of get down to that goal weight status. The best way I found to uh, lose weight is to, you know, start by cutting the amount of calories that I eat each day. And three to four hundred per day is a pretty manageable amount for anyone. And the last one here on this list is just to make it a point to take a moving break from work every hour, even if it's just walking up and down the stairs. Uh, as you can see, I'm not the best typer, but. Uh, even if it's just walking up and down the stairs a few times combined with a little bit of stretching. So just that little bit of constant movement, movement every hour. You know, I work from home, I sit at a computer all day. It's good to get my body up and moving and just to create that kind of movement all throughout the day. So again, when you're looking to create the RPM method, you're looking for the result, the specific result you want, the purpose or the reason why you want to achieve it, and the method that you're going to take by achieving it. Now, one other thing I just want to quickly mention as it goes back to here, notice I put a date in here. Um, it's always important to put a date for whatever kind of goal you're trying to achieve. And the reason for that is if you just set an arbitrary goal of saying, I want to weigh 170 pounds, well, there's no real time limit. There's no pressure on yourself to get to that goal. You know, maybe you'll reach it in 10 years, but then you won't feel and look better or you won't live a healthier lifestyle by that point. So I always say, set yourself a time limit to achieve your goals because you'll achieve them most likely faster than you think that you can. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's a short tutorial on how to use the RPM method to achieve your goals. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.